Hello, I am Rosalie Dawen from St. Denis Church. Welcome to the Children's Liturgy of the World of May 30th. Today we celebrate the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Let's start in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Good and gracious God, open our minds and hearts to receive your message and carry out our mission to spread the good news to others. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today there is something you must learn and never forget. The Lord God rules in heaven above and on earth below. There is no other God. Obey his laws and commands that I am teaching you today. Then all will go well for you and your descendants. You will always live in the land that the Lord your God is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the responsorial song, let's repeat together. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Let's say it together. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord is truthful. He can be trusted. He loves justice and fairness, and he's kind to everyone, everywhere on earth. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord made the heavens and everything in them by his word. As soon as he spoke, the world was created. At his command, the earth was formed. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. We depend on you, Lord, to help and protect us. Be kind and bless us. We depend on you. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Second reading. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, only those people who are led by God's Spirit are his children. God's Spirit doesn't make us slaves who are afraid of him. Instead, we become his children and call him our Father. God's Spirit makes us sure that we are his children. His Spirit lets us know that together with Christ, we will be given what God has promised. We will also share in the glory of Christ because we have suffered with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus' eleven disciples went to a mountain in Galilee, where Jesus had told them to meet him. They saw him and worshipped him, but some of them doubted. Jesus came to them and said, I have, be, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Go to the people of all nations and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and teach them to do everything I have told you. I will be with you always, even until the end of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Who do we name when we make the sign of the cross? Let's do it together. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So we name three persons. They are three persons in one the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And today we are celebrating the solemnity of the Holy Trinity. Now, we all know God the Father, right? God the Father is the one that loved us so much that he sent his only Son so we could be saved. And we know the second person of the Trinity, God the Son, Jesus. Jesus is the one that died for us in the cross so we could be saved. So you see, God the Father and God the Son 
already have two things in common, that they both love us so much that God gave us his son so we could be saved, and God the son died in the cross so we could be saved. But there is another person in the Holy Trinity too, is the Holy Spirit. That is the gift that God the Father and God the Son gave us so he can always be with us. No matter where we are, no matter how old or how young we are, the Holy Spirit is always with us. I don't know if you remember in the reading, in the Gospel reading when, that we read today, that it says, I will be with you always until the end of the world. So God made that promise with to us. He will always be with us. And we cannot see him. Sometimes we say, oh, I wish I can see God. If I can see God, I'm sure that I will know who he is, right? But we don't know. Because God is in all of us. So when we see your brother, when you see your mother, when you see your father, we are seeing the faces of God because God is in all of us as long as we live him, right? But one promise that God the Father and God the Son made to us was giving the gift of the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit is always with us. That Holy Spirit is always in our life. He's our helper. He's the one that gives us love. He's the one that makes us feel happy. He's the one that when we are sad or when we need guidance, when we pray, we pray and the Holy Spirit guides us. The Holy Spirit makes us feel better. I don't know how many of you have a best friend. Some of you may have already a best friend that has been with you since kindergarten until whatever grade you are. Some of you may not have a best friend yet. Some people don't have best friends. But you know what? Some of, those, some of you that have a best friend, you are lucky if you can have the same best friend until you get older like I am, right? As you go through the school, as you go through elementary, middle school, high school, eventually to college or to work, you will make a lot of new friends. You will make new best friends. But one friend that is always the same, that is always with us, is God, is the Holy Spirit. He is always with us. And that's a promise that God made to us. He will always be with us until the end of the world. And that is great. That is fantastic. Because something that we know for sure is that God keeps his promises. God, if he told us that he's going to be with us, he will be with us. Even when we don't talk to him, even when we grow older and perhaps we forget to talk to him, or perhaps we forget to say thanks to him. Something that we know for sure is that God make a promise. He told us that he will always be with us. So that Holy Spirit will be always be in your heart. So I hope that you think about that. I hope that you think through the day. I hope that you think today, tomorrow, or any other day. Think how wonderful it is to have a best friend. A best friend that will not change, that will always be the same. A best friend that it will grow with you, it will change with you, it will mature with you, but it will always be with you. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the gift that God made to us. And we are lucky. We are lucky because we can experience that gift. So let's go out and let's make disciples like the gospel said too. Let's tell others about that gift that God gave us that can always be gift given to them. Let's tell others about the love of God. Let's tell others about that God is always with us, that we can be happy, that we can be healthy, and that no matter what, God will always be with us. So let's make a little prayer to conclude the reflection that says like this. Our Father, we know that you are with us all of the time. Help us to remember you throughout our holy day. Amen. And now let's profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of the sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In word and actions, Jesus Christ opened the eyes and hearts of the faithful to the treasures of God's kingdom and revealed the fullness of God's love. We now place our needs at the feet of our Lord, trusting that He hears our prayers. After each petition, let's respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, the family of God, may we all be drawn closer to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all students, as the close of the academic year approaches, may they look forward to a time of rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may live with God forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, St. Denis Church, and the intentions written in the Book of Intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, why don't you make a prayer for an intention that you have in your heart? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we thank you and praise you for your constant presence in our lives. Pour out your Spirit upon us so that we are strengthened to serve you and others always. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. This concludes our children's liturgy of the world. Be happy, be safe, and God bless you.